Anthony Carucci back in. You fucked it up already. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a weekly show here and uh, see how that goes, right? Something different out of the ordinary. Real different. <laughs> Real different. So now why did you call out uh, Sammy the Bull to meet you in New York? Or what did you actually say? Well, it wasn't a threat. I know I, it was the first call out was uh, meet me, you know, September, what was it, 25th? Central Park, because he he runs his mouth like he's still some tough fucking gangster and he's not scared of anybody. What really got me was we got Joe Watts. We originally I did a video on Joe Watts, and then Sammy came back with another video, slightly different story, kind of the same, not not a big deal. And Sammy went on about how he defended Joe Watts at the sit down with Jerry Chili, and that. Uh, Chili almost got his ass kicked. Now, Chili's a friend of mine. I've known him since I was a kid. This is Tommy Fury's uncle. That's what he says. Yeah. I think maybe it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so he says this shit about Chili, first of all, okay? uh, which was, I, I, I highly doubt was true. Then he talks about Joe Watts, how he protected Joe Watts, because Joe Watts was German and you know, he had supposedly made man status. And uh, you know, there was a beef between Chili and Watts, and they're fucking screaming back and forth at each other. Chili's going at him, right? Because he can, because he's not, he's not Italian. Sammy says he stepped in, which maybe he did, and he said he was going to beat the shit out of Chili. And then Chili got chased, had to go to Florida for this. So he badmouthed uh, Chili. Then he goes on after this thing, he talks about Joe Watts months later being a fucking paid informant now see joe watts was locked up just recently got out okay so f for people that don't know what is uh jerry chili chili status and who's joe watts jerry chili was was the uh capo for the bananas down here he died a few years ago all right so he was the most powerful guy down here he was yeah. he was he was strong yeah. Oh, yeah. he didn't give a fuck when i say he don't give a fuck people say they don't give a fuck for, he didn't give a fuck Sam the Bull says, don't give a fuck. Chili, don't give a fuck. He's he just one of those. He was in prison, in prison, always in fucking prison. Sadly, because he just didn't give a fuck. Um, Joe Watts was uh, again on the Gambino side and did work for, I think, quite a few people. He liked, he was good at killing people. So he was just an associate because he's not a time. Right. right. Okay. And he was known to be a really good, you know. Killer. Killer. That's what he did. So Sammy defends him, and then he turns around and calls him a rat, but not just a rat. A rat that wasn't even in trouble. So he was working for the feds secretly for no reason, maybe just to get paid or whatever the reason was. He wasn't in trouble. He wasn't trying to get out of trouble. He was just a paid informant this, this whole fucking time, and nobody knew about it. But somehow Sammy knows this. How does he know this? And there, there's no record of Joe Watts ever telling on anybody. Not a single article you'll find Joe Watts as, uh, as an informant. So he makes this shit up for what? Now, a following video, I find out, apparently Watts was going to kill Sammy's son. There was some sort of beef. To, I, don't, I don't know what, for, or why. Yeah, of course, that could piss Sammy off. Are you going to kill your son? Maybe he had nothing to do with it. I don't know why he was going to. So Sammy calls him out on uh, on YouTube and says, "You fuck wad, you come see me." He tells him, "Come see me." Well, where the fuck's he gonna see you? <laughs> How the fuck you think? And now, don't forget, Watts is in. Watts was in prison just until a year, maybe. He was locked up. He was just he was just getting out. Now, we well, I had said some things about Watts. Watts was looking good. He was looking good. You know, wouldn't say anything bad. But he's getting out of prison, and I'm, I'm thinking uh, Sammy's mentality was, you know, let me dirty this guy up before he gets out. And plus, he tried to whack my, I mean, I was going to whack my son, so let me dirty him up. So he calls him an informant, which is complete fucking bullshit. Meanwhile, he's an informant. Me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not just, yeah, I mean, Hello, he McFly. is the fucking informant. Yeah. And there's no, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing. And Watts is out now. Yeah. He's out. He's not hiding. He's fucking out. You know, he's an old man, but. 
Yeah, there's, there's nothing on him. If he was doing something, he'd be hiding a little bit at least. There's, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I've called and everyone says there's there's nothing on Watts. And you can't, there's not a single person you'll find that'll say Watts did something to me. Besides kill me, but you can't talk now. You now, why talk. why did Watts want to kill um, Sammy and Bull's son again? I don't know. I have no idea. And if I watched the fucking video, maybe I would understand why. But I, I, after you listen to some of it, you're like, okay, horse shit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, once you know it's bullshit, it's bullshit. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah, it gets old quick. So then he calls out Watts and says, "Meet me," blah blah blah. Well, we know Sammy that. the Bull does. Yeah, he calls out Watts, says, "Meet me," because he's pissed off that he put a hit out on his son and he's getting out of prison, or he's already out of prison. So he must have been out by now because you can't call out someone who's in prison. So he calls out Watts and says, "Come meet me, motherfucker." Okay. Well, number one, where? That's okay. Where? Well, nobody knows where the fuck you're at. You're in the basement somewhere. Okay, that's number one. Number two, if he was to show up, Sammy could put a bullet in his ass because he would be coming for violence, and Sammy would say, "Stand your ground." Boom, done. Right? You're knocking my board, my door. You're finished. Okay. So, if you really want to see someone, you invite them nicely. Come over for dinner. Come over. Uh, let's uh, hang it, out. Right. Now, Watch, you know, let's just talk about it. Right. Things. So if you, yeah. if I was to invite Sammy to a private basement, there's no fucking way he's going to come. I mean, it wouldn't, it's just not smart. I wouldn't go to a private basement either, right? You just wouldn't do it. In an open area like Central Park with the whole fucking world knowing, what's the big deal? So if he called out Watts to an unknown location, I called out Sammy to a fucking Central Park. I've never been to fucking Central Park. I get lost. <laughs> but and anyway, what, I didn't. What did you actually say? I said, uh, hey. On your channel, I, Mafia yeah, I think I just said, hey, Sammy, I'll meet you at Central Park September 25th, and let's meet face to face, and because you're da -da 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 -da, running your fucking mouth, how tough are you? People took it as a threat. Then I came back and said, listen, this isn't a threat because the last thing you need is, like, Central Park closed down. Yeah. If he was to actually say he's going to come i doubt he's going to come okay if he was actually going to come central it, this would be big it would be as big as new year's eve could you imagine somebody both going to fucking central park to do a who knows what he ain't going to do anything because there's too many people there that's why it's safe for him if i was him i'd be a little nervous right but you've got the entire world watching and nobody's going to do anything you can't kill a fucking fly without them finding out Right, he's got bodyguards. The only thing I didn't know was I heard he was sick. He looks sick. He, he looks I sick, or he's on sick. crack. Yeah, he's he's getting he's like seventy seven, right? Yeah. So people think I called out a seventy seven year old man to have a fucking fist fight. They're out of their mind. I just wanted to see. You got these giant balls, and fucking let's see, yeah, how big your fucking balls all show up to fucking Central Park. Hey, pull that, up, uh, pull up Sammy the Bull. Uh, in Google, just to see how sick and sickling he looks. Yeah, he looks like he's on crack. Yeah, he's he's definitely he's got some sort of disease. He's he's not. Uh, in in some of the comments, people are saying he's sick, and I don't know what he's got, but uh, yeah, there's definitely he's, he's he's old. Now, if if he would come meet you in New York, what would mm -hmm. you say to him? I'd say your balls are pretty big. That's about it. There's nothing <laughs> else I could say because it look. He could say whatever he wants to me. He could call me every name in the book. He could talk shit about whoever he wanted. I can't do anything. And vice versa. So you would just talk shit to him? I would just want to see. Yeah, I don't even know if I'd do that. I don't know. I just, just say, why I, are you such I, I, a fucking thing, bullshit? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we'd have words and go back and forth. Someone might throw a tomato at him, maybe. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'd be afraid of it. Um, he did have a... Uh, he did a thing about uh, the Aryan Brotherhood, how he got this tattoo on his arm from the Aryan Brotherhoods. That's crazy. I'd worry about that because yeah. the Aryan Brotherhood doesn't give snitches tattoos. Yeah. He said, and this was after he cooperated. And they said He'd be insane to go there. Not not because of you, because like we we were talking before, that if somebody's trying to get made, mm -hmm. right? Even if it's wide open, even if it's risky as hell, mm -hmm. you hit him, there's a good chance that you're when they open the books, you got a shot. Right. But so it's not that he's, you know, you know, you're smart enough not to do it because you know it's just retarded. You just you would have to be insane, right? But somebody who's in that life and wants to move up, twenty one, twenty two, and like, you know, people want to be Michael Jordan one day. Well, 
their whole goal in life is to be made. Yeah. So they hit him, they get made. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go to uh, images. But uh, I'll tell you what, getting made now, you don't have to kill anybody anymore. They just don't do it because in order to, from what I heard. Look at him. Look at him. Click on that one. And that one, I think that was when he was trying to get out early. Oh, my God. That's when he was in prison. And now click on the MTV one where it says MTV or is it in the blue? Jesus Christ. He looks, yeah, he looks like he's fucking dying. And look over there on the left where he's raising his hand, I guess, to testify. Yeah. Look at it. Well, obviously, he had well, plastic surgery. Right there on the right, yeah. Yeah, he had plastic surgery. Is that what it was? Yeah, the government paid for it. Go fucking figure. And then he shaved his, look at him. He looks fucking terrible. Yeah. But it's not just the plastic surgery. I mean, he looked, like, right there. Click on the one that says, he is, uh, let's see what, go to the net worth. All, over? There over. it is. There's, a, there's the um, Click on that channel. one. Sam of the Gruel is now worth... Tw Click on visit. Let's see what this fuck's worth. Probably worth a fucking shitload. Scroll down. I don't see anything. It tells you on the last page. Hmm. That, do I, the net worth? Yeah, just type in um, Sammy the Bull uh, net worth. What do you think he's worth? Who knows? He'd lie no matter what it is, you know? Yeah. He's smart. Well, he's got, well, on that show that he's doing, he's got a big-ass house in Arizona. That's Doesn't not a small... Fuck yeah. I never saw the house. It's, um, I forget what it's called, but it's it's basically based on his daughter, his two kids. And is that then, like an old reality show? No, it just came out. out. Oh, it just did come yeah, out. Yeah, on yeah. national TV. Get the fuck out of no. here. No. Well, now uh, I know he ain't coming to fucking Central Park. I didn't know that. Two million. Yeah. One of the richest criminals in the world. He's worth growing up for two million bucks. Yep, two million bucks. He's got more than that. Yeah, he's got that's a, bullshit. Yeah, his ha that house he's in is worth more than two million. Yeah, he's doing a, a reality show. Well, it's his two kids, uh -huh. his two daughters, and they got pinched with him. And they yeah on the fucking ecstasy right. Mm -hmm. And they go visit him in Arizona. You can see the house. He comes out. It's a big fucking house, dude. The question is, is he actually living in that house? Because I doubt. That's true. They Never thought about that. They put him in the fucking house he's living in. Yeah, because my buddy's doing a documentary, and when they did it, they did it. They rented out a big ass mantry, uh, or mantry, mansion. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not his house, but it looks like it is. You know what I mean? So you're right. That yeah, might yeah. Not even be his that house. Google photo shit, you take a picture of something and pop it in. Yeah. Google will tell you where it is. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Fucking, that's definitely not his <laughs> house. You're right. And I, I know, you know what? You know what? Anthony, people, I never they, even yeah. thought of that. Yeah, it's fucking know? house. It's someone go, oh, I know where that fucking house is. Bye bye. But yeah, I, no one's going to do anything to him be, be, unless you get a nut job, maybe. That's someone what I'm trying, saying. Someone trying to get made? That's I, what I'm saying. I, I don't think so because in order to whack someone now, you need to be, you got to get the okay of all five families. Yeah, I know. So it's it's not, it's not fucking, it's not easy. Yeah. Not like, not like it used to be. Right? No. Fuck, yeah. Back in the days. Look what he did. So now. We're gonna talk. There, all the bust in Florida. There's a gazillion of them. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the the meatball one because you oh, know that, that one. That was an old one. Uh, just... Yeah, I mean that was uh, 2010, right? But it was a big one. Yeah. Yeah, right here. All right, a brief pasta-based history of mafia in Broward. So, explain this to me, Anthony. Well, what's going on here? Broward County. Um, it was just, it's huge. People don't get it. Look, look, you got Al, 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 bleh, Al Capone, Meyer Lansky. Meyer Lansky was down here. He was the, the Jewish, the Jew, you know. Um, you have a ton of people down here in South Florida. It's big. And right now, everyone's talking about, you know, New York, New York, Chicago, New York. Yeah. That's all you hear. Florida's was huge. And you got all five families down here working together. Open territory, do whatever the fuck you want. And the good thing, well, for the guys working down the capitals down here, you got New York's here. They're down here, so if they're making a hundred thousand a week, they're reporting maybe thirty. So yeah, they want to go to Florida. They're not freezing their nuts off. No one knows what the fuck they're doing. Everyone's doing shit under the table. You're not supposed to be selling drugs. Supposed to be. Shit. Yeah, I got stories on that. They all sold fucking drugs. When well, did that start? When did that being it, okay start? It, it, it probably as soon as they wrote the rule that you're not allowed to, because <laughs> that's what they do. Yeah, you know, you're not supposed to do this, but they fucking do it anyway, right? Yeah. Um, the women and children one, I think they they stick to that one because that's a, that's a tough one to get around. But yeah. When you're when you're just making money, just making money, drugs, 
Why not? Okay, I can't sell drugs, but can I rip off a drug dealer and take his drugs? Yeah. I mean, you got all these. Like, like kind of like loopholes, yeah, right? Yeah, loopholes. And there's so much money in it. There, it's like saying there's so much money in drugs, way more than gambling and, and all this other shit. Drugs are like th the thing, right? Right. The drugs and alcohol. So, uh, yeah, down in South Florida, these guys are all trying to get into drugs, but into a way that maybe they don't get caught. They got to be quiet. And so I had some really good connection with the cartel. But the problem with the Italians is they don't have a direct shot to car the cartel or didn't back then. Right now, who knows what, what the fuck they're doing? I have no clue. So I'm in South Florida. And that's drug capital back then, right? Everything's coming into Miami, Miami, Miami. We're talking a lot of weight, thousands of kilos, tons at, at some times. And of what, Coke? Coke. Yeah. yeah. And fuck with anything else, Coke. Um, so an example, if a kilo in Florida is uh, 15 grand wholesale, New York, it's 30. It's double. Double. So these guys bringing it in, Aren't making as much as the people buying it here and bringing it to to to, to New York. Yeah, so and they, they're risking getting it in. Yeah, right? yeah, they're, they're taking losing. all the risks. They're losing loads now. They're not spending that much because they're you know a kilo over there is fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred. Okay, back then. It's that's Colombia. That's Colombian U.S. dollar. Fifteen hundred yeah. in Colombia. You're paying pure shit. Pure. Yeah. Pure, pure, pure. Um, so you're paying fifteen hundred in the mountains. Then you got to pay you know a certain percentage down the hill onto the port. Then you got a per percentage guys driving it over, then the offload. So by the time they get it here, uh, something they paid 1500 maybe they they spent 7000 a key. Then they double it. So And then they get to fifteen. They get to fifteen. maybe they double it, right? And now, then you take it to New York, and, and you get fucking 25 25 30, 30. And they're yeah. fucking whack it in half most That's of right. the time, doubling that to 60 you know? <laughs> so, yeah, New York was was nice. It was, you know, they're, they're making a fortune, making a fortune. The problem is, how do you get it? Colombians don't like to deal with people that don't have insurance. And what I mean by insurance is family. If you don't have a family, you ain't, I mean, street people will fuck, you know, deal with you. But when you're talking heavy weight, they're not going to, they're not going to give you 500 kilos if you don't have a, a wife and a child and, and this shit to, to back it up. And not one that can be picked up and go to witness, witness protection. Not going to happen. Right? right. In Colombia, where the cartels are just as strong today as they were in fucking... Uh, back then, if you get busted, they come to your house nicely, knock on the door, so-and-so got caught, just letting you know that we know where you're at. They'll give you a couple bucks, make sure you keep your mouth shut. And there's no rules. There's women and children are... Off the table. They're, on, they're, they're No, everybody goes. They will kill anyone. So they do come and say, look, here's some money to, yeah, yeah, for you to they, survive. They, yeah, absolutely. And they're then if, if you just stick with it, you're all right. You're right. But if with you the cartel, it's not the, like the Italian. No, there ain't they no will, rules. They'll shoot your Dog, family. cat, wife, girl, kid. Anybody. Fucking doesn't matter. Anybody. They'll kidnap your fucking kid and say, okay, now what? You better shut the fuck up. You know, I mean, they don't they don't play. And for that reason alone, that's why the that's why the cartel's still surviving. You know, when you can't go after someone's family, you know, let's say you're Italian and you get popped, right? You're looking at 20 years. And you know, hmm, well, they're not going to go after my family because of the rules. Right. Right? No women, no children, they'll be safe. I can go on witness protection or I can bring my family with me or I can just rat and do my time. And you're talking about Ita the Italians, Italian life. Right, yeah, Italian yeah. Life. So that's what for that, that's why the Italian, you know, they're getting doom, 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 little by little, not in the left, right? They're not as powerful as they used to be. But the cartel, absolutely, they're fucking, they will take you out. They, listen, I had sit-downs with people that, you know, you've got capos and shit, and then you've got all these other guys that they want to do business, but you got to be very careful because... Unfortunately, Italians love to fucking rob people. That's what they do. Chili used to wake up every day and go, who am I going to rob today? You know, he used to like to fucking rob people. No matter how it was, he, he robbed people. He wasn't a drug dealer. He made some arrangements, but he just wasn't a drug. He liked to get over and just fucking figure out a way to rip someone off. That was his thing. 
He made captain, right? Oh yeah, he was like captain. a high up captain. Oh yeah, he yeah. was. He was a. I mean, he was a. He was a good guy and uh, well respected. Never spoke. Never. Never said a word to anybody. Yeah, he was a good guy. Um, but when you're dealing with Italians, like me, dealing with Italians, and I've got Colombians over here, and I've okay. I know these cocksuckers want to rob somebody. Not all of them, but I got to think. Wait a minute. What if they rob? You know, what if they going? What are they going to rob me or, or do this or? So, and then you got other guys that, you know, are, are solid, but you can never tell, especially in South Florida, because you got people coming in, it's fucking open territory and all the checking out of shit like that. But there's been times where I've sat with guys and said, listen, capos want a lot. And I said, look, if you or anyone thinks about ripping these people off in any way, shape, they will kill your boss. And they'd look at me like I'm fucking goofy. I said, wait a minute. Do you think for one second that the Colombian cartel can't send a few people over here on a boat just like they do 5,000 kilos? <laughs> yeah. Right? right. Just, uh, so easy. Get fucking a boatload of machine guns like they always do. Find one of the bosses in New York that just sits out in the fucking front of a coffee shop every morning and blow the whole goddamn place up. You don't think they'll do that? With a machine gun. In two seconds. Two seconds. And not I care. Know. They're fucking crazy, they, man. So you don't have to worry about the ripoff. So if you want to rip us off, that's fine. They'll kill the boss and it's going to come back on you. Now they think, oh shit, okay, wait a minute. So you've never seen the mafia getting a beef with the cartel. Ever. They won't win because it's you can hit the mattresses all you want. They'll you find it. You can't fucking win. No, no it's Fuck the, no. the scariest thing. Being in your own country, right? You you know, we're Americans and we deal with the mob and whatever. And you know, this guy can clip you and that guy can clip you, and you can kind of keep your eyes out. But when you don't know who's coming, Russians, does Russian mob in South Florida now? They could walk into anyone. I heard they're coming down here now. From, New they're, York. They're, they're from big. Uh, what Brooklyn? They're big. Yeah, they're big. They're all down the south. Fuck they're nuts too, man. They're nuts. And, 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 and they're not as bad as the cartel, but they'll do the same shit. And they'll, the they'll kill your fucking dog. You don't know what's coming, and what can you do about it? So let's say you do know that this guy did it. What are you gonna do? Go to Russia? Yeah, because you know they're based out of Russia. What if you know hypothetically a cartel guy uh, clipped one of the bosses? How are they gonna retaliate? You're going to go to Colombia? In fucking possible. You'll never make it. You won't make it two fucking feet. You want to know why? The cops will get you first. Right. They'll kill you. Right. Because they're all on the fucking payroll. They're all on the payroll. It's, <laughs> and even if they stayed in the United States, what are you going to do? Go with your crew? They got bigger guns, more guns, and they're and more crazy. way more people. Way more people. Yeah. So there's nothing you can do. No, no. It's You know it's like? The Haitian. The Haitians the same way. They're, they're scary too. They're scary motherfuckers, man. The fucking voodoo shit. <laughs> the voodoo shit. <laughs> the voodoo. Yeah, I don't know about the voodoo, voodoo shit. I just know that they're fucking yeah, crazy. They don't. They don't play. The yeah. cartel and the Haitians are the the two craziest. Yeah. When you can send someone from another country to do a hit, which a lot of guys can right now still, if you know how to get someone over here, no, get them over here. But by the time they find out who the fuck shot who, this guy's gone. He's, he's back. He's, he's back. And and if he gets caught. He gets five years and gets deported. He's getting quiet too because the 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 Sicario, the guy shooting, he's got family over there. He doesn't want to. If you get caught, you get caught. It's part of the job. Yeah, and so what? He does five years, probably gets ten, twenty grand in Colombia. That's a lot of fucking money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he figures, fuck it. Maybe I got, maybe I get caught. I do five years, but I just made five G's from or ten grand for my family, which in Colombia is what a like lot. A, a lot, right? A lot. They make their averages three hundred a. A month, three hundred U.S. a month is like an average. They make three hundred a month, so ten, twenty thousand to go do a hit in the U.S. is a ton. So even if they had to do five and get deported, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I've seen it happen. So what? They're you know over there, they're good for the next fucking five, six years. They're set. They're you know set. what I mean? I know. Um, you know, when it comes to the Colombians, are you know I gotta say they they they've got their shit together. When it comes to how they organize shit. Very organized. Besides yeah. the fact that they'll fucking kill everybody, right? Yeah. They know how to get out of jail, too, without taking people down. They know. They've, they've got the system. They've got system that's... Guy gets popped, you know, maybe he gets extradited, and he's a big deal in Colombia, right? He does it, keeps his mouth shut, bang, 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 makes a deal. All right, he takes his 20 fucking years. Then on the side, 
he's got people in Colombia working for him to get him out. They're going to send over 500 kilos in an airplane. All right. Or on a, usually it's on a boat because they don't like to – anyone that can fly is worth money. You don't want to get rid of a pilot. But people on a boat, they don't give a shit. You can get someone on a boat from under a banana tree. So they put 500 kilos on a boat. 500 fucking kilos, man. Yeah, and it's fuck, it cost them 1,500 bucks a key. But these guys are multi, multi, multi millionaires, yeah. right? And they'll send it over and then they'll call an agent and they'll say, hey, the boat's coming here, here, and here. I have to give them all the coordinates, all that shit. The people on the boat, they know they're going to jail. They know it. Because, like, like you said, the, the life is poor. They're, maybe these are homeless, poor people. Sometimes they're really sick. They need an operation. They're going to die, brain tumor, whatever the fuck it is. Because when you get locked up in the feds, they're taking care of you, right? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. At least you'll get medication. Um, so they... Uh, I never thought about that one either. Yeah. Yeah, because they'll, they'll get medical treatment. They, get medical they treatment. have to. They get there and they say, I got a brain tumor. Boom, right to the hospital you go. Yeah. Right to the hospital. So it'd be worth it just for that. Just for you, that. Need, you know what I mean? Right. And then on top of that, they're going to give them, you know, they know they're going to get five, ten years, whatever whatever it is. I've only ever seen them get five. Right. Five and out. And a lot of times they leave less than five. Mm. Whenever that paperwork goes through, they're out. Yeah, they so they can get out. They can get out if, you know, they do it the right way. Anyone from Columbia getting caught does not want to talk. There was a guy that just recently got sent. Well, he didn't get sent back recently, but he got popped recently. Here in Florida? No, in Columbia. They shot him. Oh. They were looking for his ass. He got caught, uh, went here. I don't know. He might have did seven years out of ten. And he talked on his wife's brother since his wife's brother that's who he ratted it out right so he Jesus goes back Christ. to columbia and during the covid thing he's uh walking around like uh but he's got bodyguards and shit now he's hurting for money and he's trying to squeeze people he's going around extorting people just like uh, chili did when he got out he was just squeezing, squeezing everybody squeezing everybody yeah i heard the stories and uh they finally found him and they shot his ass up in uh in the grocery store see but fuck, he ratted on people. And they said uh, the one that pulled the trigger, well, not pulled the trigger, but gave the hit orders was the, the wife because he ratted on his wife's brother. The wife pulled the fucking hit? She pulled, she said, there he is, go, you know, she okayed it and told him to take care of this cocksucker. She, she put, Holy put, fuck. Put his brother in prison. Yeah. And he sure. kept his mouth shut. You know, his brother, the brother. So the him. wife whacked him the fuck out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> got him good. Yeah, I got a phone call in the middle of the night saying they got him. I'm like, what? This is the same guy that had something to do with kidnapping a friend of mine. But anyway, so they fucked him up. Nice. Now, when and when the cartel kidnaps you, they don't. They fucking torture you. Well, it depends on why they're kidnapping you. So you've got. Yeah, like how the fuck do you work with the Italian and the cartel? That's that's a quite. Well, you'd be the middle guy. That's, you make money for everybody, and then you're right in the middle, which is a perfect position, right? Because you, you have both. Cartel wants to make money. Italians want to make money. You just got to know who's going to fuck who. Cartels use, don't fit, fuck people. They're not out to fuck you. They're out to do business, and that's it. And shut up if you get caught. Italians, you know, they fuck people. It is part of the, you know, robbery and scam. And if you're not, you know, one of them or in their family, and then, you know, you can, you're wide open. They can do whatever the fuck they want. But when you know the rules, and you know these people and that people, and you know they want that, and I'm in the middle, I'm in a perfect spot. You're like a broker. I'm a broker, right in the middle. Yeah. And, you know, you guys don't want to hurt me because I'm making you money. And these guys make sure you ain't going to hurt me because I've had times where I had to sit down with Joey Flowers, a Colombo captain. We had a problem and sat face to face, and he goes, this place belongs to me. Bop, 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 I'm taking it from you. And I said, Joey, are you, are you fucking serious here? I said, they're going to kill everybody. And he goes, then we got a war. And I was like, oh, Jesus, He's, you're dead. Oh, you know, but Because Joey Flowers was talking about an uh, uh, area that the cartel had. Right? Well, the, Joey Flowers, there was a, we had a, there was a, a restaurant that some deals went down in, and something went south. And the guy that owned the restaurant, we were taking a restaurant because he, he lost the dope. So he's going to pay for it. He reaches out to someone in the Colombo family and says, hey, these guys are going to take the restaurant. Or this, this, this kid, I was 25. This kid's taking this fucking restaurant from me. Um, so he goes to my lawyer's office, Joey Flowers, and my lawyer gives me a call. He says, hey, 
we got a problem. I go, what's the problem? He goes, this fucking guy came in and says, you ain't taking that restaurant. It belongs to them. Yeah, I said, what's his name? He goes, Joey Flowers. I said, okay. I know this is the old rope or dope. They pulled someone in, say you're with me. Now they fucking have a piece of the restaurant. They're just trying to bail this guy out. He didn't know what he was getting into. He just thought it was a regular old fucking drug dealer. So we have a sit down. And he brings in this big fucking mamook. Sit next to him. Right? <laughs> I'm sitting next to I'm looking at Joey, and I'm looking at this fucking guy, and he's trying to eyeball the shit out of me. Yeah. So I go, who the fuck is this? He goes, is he with me? he's with me. I said, well, just going to get the fuck out of here, because I, I'm talking to you. Yeah. If he doesn't go, I go. So he leaves. Oh, he actually left? Yeah, I do, because Joey, you want to talk? Yeah. I'm fucking, you didn't summon me, motherfucker. I'm here to save your life. So yeah. So he's got to go. So he's sitting over there giving me the evil fucking eyeball, and me and Joey are going back and forth. So he goes, how much are you owed? And I said, it was 120000 And he goes, okay. And he goes, I got 100000 in this restaurant. I'll make you a deal. I go, all right, what's the deal? He goes, you give me 100000 and I'll let you go. You can take the restaurant. He tells me this. I said, how about this? I'm taking a restaurant <laughs> or you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to kill every one of you. And he's like, what? I said, listen, you got rules, Joey. I know the rules. You can't do anything. These people will put someone on a boat. They will come here and kill you and anyone that's with you. And they don't care. And it'll be done like that. Well, his eyeballs lit up. And, but, you, you know, you could tell he was fucking nervous. But, of course, he wasn't going to back down either. And I was like, oh, shit, this is going to get ugly. This is going to get ugly. We're going to kill this cocksucker. So um, the plan was this guy is going to die. But then I'm thinking, I don't want a fucking bloodbath. I don't want a bloodbath. I want to see if I can solve this, you know, get this fucker out of here. So Chili's in prison at the time because he's always in fucking prison. And I got to get a message to him because I know these guys don't like this cocksucker. This Columbo's, they don't like him. You know the time is ticking. The time's ticking in all directions, you know, yeah. and I've got to take care of something because I, you know, the Colombians are watching me. What am I going to do? This dope disappeared. You know, it's not a big deal that um, the dope disappeared, just the way it disappeared. And we're wondering, was was this a fed sting or someone got ripped off and how was it done? But, but I gave it to this guy and said, cheers, you lose it, take the restaurant. That was the deal. So I'm worried. Cartel's looking at me. I got to get this. I got to beef with him. They want to come kill people. How can I solve this easily? Well, let me see if what Chili can do because Chili's he's fast, right? I call him, bump, bump, bump. He calls me at my house, certain time, landline back back yeah. then, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's on the fucking phone in the prison on the goddamn lieutenant's office. Hey, what are you doing? Right. He's using the phone. He gets the fucking yeah. Office? He fucking give me the phone. That's how he talked to them back. Give me the phone. They loved him. You know, he was like. What year was this? Ninety, probably ninety. Uh, three yeah. 93 yeah, it was a lot different. yeah 93 yeah. he'd boy, fucking need the phone whenever he wanted yeah clean too not like the other ones later on he got caught on the phone but at <laughs> that time he got, yeah so yeah well 93 is a lot different than the 2000s yeah you know what i mean so he goes hey go see this guy so he says go steve uh steve maruka and another guy but he's still alive so i'm gonna mention him and i sit down and explain it to steve maruka right and he goes, now the drug thing is the problem, sort of, right? They're trying to play politics. Yeah. I go, yeah, drugs. He goes, but there's no drugs anymore? I go, no. He goes, it's just money? He goes, yeah. He goes, all right, we're just collecting some money? I said, yeah. I said, look, but I got this fucking restaurant. This thing, I mean, it was it's a historical monument. This building is unbelievable. I said, we get the restaurant. You got bookmaking. You got everything you want. This thing is a knockout. Two stories, back offices. Forget about it. This is a home run. You can wash money through that like a yeah. mug. Beautiful a place, brass. I mean, uh, brass. I mean, nice. I go look what we can do here. This is just don't get stupid, but because I know how they are. Yeah, here's a they'll, restaurant. They'll push it to the yeah. yeah here's a restaurant making you yeah. know ten grand uh, every on yeah. Friday and Saturday, and then suddenly fucking fifty thousand yeah. comes in. Like yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Uh, they always get fucking it, greedy. It's right? doing like eight thousand. The fucking things about the clothes. Right. Instead of like slowly building right. it up, 
in fucking three months is throwing a hundred thousand a fucking month. And you got the fucking cocksucking FBI across the street taking yeah. pictures. The parking lot's empty. Yeah. But you guys pulled in fifty grand last night. And how'd and you they, do that? And they know that the FBI is right. fucking looking. I mean, it's not fucking hard to they tell that they're out there. Fuck. So you know, I explained this to to um, Maruka. Maruka's a stone cold a stone oh, cold yeah. killer. Oh, I heard all about it. Crazy motherfucker. So anyway, he just says he's going to go in there and shoot the place up, and if they don't want to fucking pay. So now I'm like, Christ. Jesus Christ. Here we, here we go. go. Here we go. So that's another fucking story. But Maruka was a fucking beast. He's a beast. This guy, let me give you Steve Maruka. There was a, the Gambinos and Genovese were doing a, a freaking jewelry scam down here, 85, 86, somewhere around there. And... The old shit, we would, they would uh, open up a store. Someone had good credit, right? Like the old insurance jobs we used to do on cars. They'd open up a store. They'd get good credit. And they'd order as much fucking gold as they could and then fucking close down, right? Stick it up their ass. Good move. Good move, yeah. They, they, they store, have a shitload of stores, you know? They sell a little here and make it look a little better, 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 get more, 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 and close that shit down and fucking sell it off, right? I think they did something similar in the movie Goodfellas. You remember they they started they, he became partners with the guy and then burned the fucking place down. Yeah, burned it down and took all the uh, yeah. merchandise out the back, right? Yeah, something like that. Same, same type same of thing. same type of shit. Yeah. So, uh, so in other words, they build up their credit so they can buy all this jewelry. Right. They get it in, probably get Joe Schmo to get the right. get the credit. Clean right? guy, clean, clean guy. guy. Right. They keep it open for three months, make it look good, maybe six months, exactly. then boom, close, take all the shit, never pay it. Exactly. And sell the swag. That's it. So you've got Genovese and Gambinos working together on this shit. In South Florida. Fuck it. Miami? Uh, Fort Lauderdale. It actually, Florida. it happened in Miramar. So that's that's Broward County, I believe. So that basically. That's really close to the Dade line. Yeah. The Broward. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, right in between. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> west. Um, So Steve hears of this shit. Well, he wants his fucking end. Well, who the fuck are you? You're a banana guy. Why do you get a piece of their action? As you know, but he thinks he should because he can. So yeah. he walks in and says, "Hey, I want fifty thousand." So like, what do you mean? He, no, I want fifty thousand. So, at while this whole shit was going on, he it was all getting recorded. So he was putting a squeeze on Genovese mm. and these other guys. And in the meantime, FDLE, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, you know, all these fuckers are. You got Broward County's organized crime task force, FDLE, feds, state. Down here, I don't know how it works up north. Usually, it's just the feds, right? Up north, they all come. State shit too. So when you get it, when the feds come for you up north, it's all of them. You right. get the county comes, the state comes, mm -hmm. the FBI comes, the D, everybody comes. Right. Everybody they could fucking find comes. <laughs> it's like a. It's like a. Like you had a barbecue with, you know, half of Sicily. Yeah. You know, when when up there. I don't know how it is here, but that's how it is up there. Yeah. So anyway, he he puts a squeeze on the Genovese guys and uh, Genovese uh, and Gambinos and say, I want I want a piece because Steve is known to just fucking shoot you. Yeah. It's just like everyone else, you got those guys. There's those few guys, you know, that just don't care, and he'll fucking shoot. They used you. to call him trigger happy. Yep. Steve, they, they had a nickname, the $5 button man. If you had a bad day at the track, watch out. Stay with <laughs> yeah. Steve. Yeah, yeah. How much? 100 bucks? Okay. I'll yeah, take, he, I, he calls. I'm busy. Yeah. Uh, I'm at a doctor's appointment. Right? I can clip this guy. So, yeah, that was uh, Maruka. And he was just a, he was a monster. He was a real monster. All right. So the next episode, we'll get into uh, Steve Maruka even more and uh, some other stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, keep it going. Absolutely. So. Thank you for your time, and uh, this is going to be good. It's going to be good. All right, Anthony. No thank you, buddy. You got it.